I want to talk about this. Like, th- there's actually a great deal of racism in Israel against black yes. people yes, as for well. Sure. And it's part of the systemic issues that exist um, in Israeli society. And I just have a quick anecdote that I wanted to share. The first and only time that I went to Palestine, I landed in uh, Tel Aviv. And I was actually traveling with a group of Americans um, out of D.C. We were going on a sort of fact-finding trip. There was another Palestinian on the trip, and there was also a black minister from a Baptist church, right? We were a group of like 20 or so. The only people who got pulled aside for additional questioning. Hold on, hold up. Let me guess. You, as a Palestinian. Yes. The other Palestinian. Yes. And the black guy. Yes. Hey. That's literally it. The IDF honestly could hire me. I'm pretty good at that. I mean, I feel like you passed. Like, you're hired. (laughs) They tried. Honestly, they tried really hard to get me. Uh, Did they they really? Yeah, of course. Every birthright trip is like they try and sell you the IDF as a lifestyle choice. They want so many of these so-called lone soldiers who come from other countries and serve in the IDF. They recruit in Canada, even though it's illegal to do so. It's a problem. And they're they're indoctrinating children, right? Because it's like, it's a smooth one, two step from come on a nice little trip to Israel, right? You'll be on the beach of Tel Aviv. La, 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 yeah. la. And then all of a sudden you're cleaning toilets in the IDF and you're like, oh, how did I get here? This is just like joining ISIS. <laughs> You know what's crazy? We went to the um, Holocaust Museum in West Mm. Jerusalem, Mm -hmm. and I saw a birthright trip in the museum when we were there. You know what the weird part was? They were being escorted through the museum with armed soldiers like that had AK-47s, you know, just in plain sight. And I was like, wait, why does the birthright trip have soldiers? They were the only ones that had soldiers. Mm -hmm. So I went to the front desk and I was like, hi, I'd like a soldier. And they were like, what? And I was like, well, I noticed that you have some groups walking through here and they are being accompanied by soldiers. I'd like one since apparently it's so dangerous, right? To be here. Y'all rent them out by the hour or- Like, how does this work? Like rent a soldier? Like, I don't understand. They thought I was absolutely nuts, but that's exactly the point, right? Like, what are these soldiers doing here and why are they only accompanying the birthright trip? The fact that there was no self-awareness of the people being escorted by soldiers in the Holocaust Museum is pretty scary, actually, as a Jew, I gotta say. Psychologically, like, the idea is obviously to make them feel like they are under constant threat while they're ingesting these images. Yeah. And it, and it I mean, it, it's so obvious to, like, it's everyone else. It's a further else. manipulation of Holocaust trauma that is the basis for which Israel was founded. And they have never let up they will still reference the Holocaust as a reason to oppress Palestinians. It makes no sense at all. And it's super disrespectful and disgusting to the actual Holocaust. It's the Palestine pod. Palestine pod. Palestine pod. Sit down and relax. Palestine pod. Palestine pod. Expand your mind. Palestine pod.